So why why are you digging slop? Because <laughs> that fell over. Because so we need to recite it. Yeah. It's not a it's not a fun tourism customer facing job, is it? No, no. You probably smell what we're doing from over by the boat. It's a poo facing nasty job. No, it's not too bad, but it's interesting. These have been in sewage tanks all summer and they've gone black. What colour were they? Well, they're just rusty, but there must be something they've been pickled, I think. Pickled in poo. Yeah. Hmm. The basic problem was when we had a flood tide, that became so buoyant that it floated up out of the ground. Mm. So that's what we get up to when the business is shut and the customers aren't here. We completely rip apart the houseboats. <laughs> everywhere but interesting thing we discovered um, this room is insulated but nowhere else in Amazon's had any insulation at all so not the ceiling not the walls not the twin room and then not the main bedroom so nothing uh, so we've had delivered this morning a nice pallet of uh, eco-friendly type insulations made of hemp fibres, so we thought we'd try that. And uh, so before we put it all back together we're going to insulate it and make sure it's uh, nice and snug. So it should help it be a lot warmer or cooler or quieter. Once you weld these on, you'll be able to use the uh, the A-frame yeah, on the back the of your tougher. Do that. It's brilliant. I am impressed. <laughs> if only I had one. <laughs> well, I had lent it to you. <laughs> put up some of this uh, insulation that's made from hemp uh, Josh said it smells like fresh bread and it does it's quite a strange thing so you end up working with it and feeling hungry but um, hopefully this is going to make a difference to the comfort on Amazon's which was already quite comfortable anyway but uh, yeah unbelievable that these rooms didn't have insulation mm, looking good is it getting progressively warmer in here um, now, that you, now that the insulation's going up. I noticed um, with the door closed with the ceiling heating it, it holds a bit more warmth. Yeah. I think it's starting to a little better. 
it's that, I mean the windows are yeah I mean we've got um tarpaulins over the windows for now these ones are going to be blanked off but... so I'm still sat here in Misterton by the fire editing adminning I'm stuck here for a little while whilst they're all getting on with the work on Amazons because my foot has been operated on and hopefully it's getting better but I have to stay indoors which isn't too much of a hardship in the wet and windy weather although it does get a tad boring but it's lovely to be able to see the progress the guys are making outside. No it's looking good. Bathroom is done. That six external wall's all insulated. Panels going back up. Some wall panels done. Ceiling done. New light, LED light. It's all happening. Looking good. This is the old cladding. This is the new one. This bit's already done. So the tide's been very helpful today. Keeping that at a good level. Am I right in thinking that this plastic sheeting is stuff that we had something delivered in previously? That is, yes. Yeah, so we're re uh, recycling really, it, I suppose. I'm really pleased, actually, that we're actually putting it on here um, instead of putting it to landfill, actually. I, I really do just about your idea, but it's actually pretty <laughs> well, Simon. Really That's a, a lot of my ideas people are dubious about, but... I can't remember what came in. I don't know whether it's a canoe or something. Yeah, of course. That, that looks like a registration number. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, P21. Yeah, the, as Josh says, it's probably one of the, um, the double kayaks. I, th I had a feeling, I was not mattresses. I had a feeling, I said to Mira, I thought it was kayaks. Yeah, because that looks like a reg number. Yeah, and we, because um, we got the double ones this year, we kind of it's keep all the. Yeah. I mean, we keep all this plastic so that we can try and do something with it. Don't know if you could see that, but it's a seal. loads of winter maintenance there's still a lot to go but Steve and Josh have done a fantastic job on Amazons and so it just remains one more thing to say to you all out there before we finish for the season Merry Christmas! A sunny day but it's cold outside It tingles in my heart Breathing air that clears my mind I'm all for a good start Hear those jingle bells, people singing about love It feels like I'm a kid, like I'm forever young And that's why I wanna sing about the Christmas on its way A reason to hang around and celebrate this day